Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. Nicole Dodge, a mother from Virginia, noticed that her child was acting in some strange ways. Natalie, her smallest child, was only moving the bottom part of her arm. When Nicole took her daughter to the emergency room, she didn't expect to hear that it was because of stage 4 cancer. When she was diagnosed, Natalie was only 15 months old. Her folks thought that she might have hurt her shoulder. Natalie wasn't crying or acting like she was in a lot of pain. But when Natalie fell down a few days later, she started screaming. That's when Nicole took Natalie to the emergency room and left her other kids with her mother-in-law. Nicole said in an Instagram post, I thought we were walking into an emergency room to get x-rays, and when I left the kids with my mother-in-law, I really thought I would be home soon like I told them I would. But they were in the hospital for more than 12 hours, and that day changed their lives forever. After a night in the hospital, a sample, and a CT scan, they were allowed to go home. Within the first 24 hours of being in the hospital, we had a good idea that it was probably cancer," Nicole said. Four days later, Natalie's results were given to them over the phone. It was high-risk or stage 4 neuroblastoma, Nicole said. It's MYCN amplified, which means that her type of cancer grows 10 times faster than regular neuroblastoma. The mother said, it was pretty much the worst news we could have gotten. I lost it for sure. We just went to our bedroom and started crying. It was terrible. At that point, we felt like there was no hope at all. When their doctor told them that St. Jude had agreed to take Natalie as a patient, the couple was very happy. There, more than 80% of people with cancer get better. And I looked at my husband and said, we have to go Nicole told me. Natalie was treated at St. Jude for more than 10 months. Today, she is 2 years old and shows no signs of sickness. Her tests also keep coming back clear. Nicole said, it's really, really cool. I have seen other protocols at other hospitals around the world, and I haven't seen as many kids get the NED status so early on in treatment as I have at St. Jude. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.